Hi there, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm not sure if you've had these guys in your yard before, but they're a bit like cactus, very sharp, very spiky. Um, this is just a short video on how I actually removed it. Um, it does require a fair bit of effort and it's quite a tough plant. So hope you enjoy the video and uh, leave your comments below. Thanks very much. Okay, the easiest way to do it is to use a machete, uh, as you can see in this um, photo here. Um, half of it's been sort of chopped off. It does take a fair bit of effort to do it. And the main reason I was getting rid of it was um, it was creating a maintenance issue. You can see all the grass growing up around the bottom there. And I couldn't also maintain the garden. Very hard, um, very difficult. So unfortunately, this guy had to go. So, um, and also, don't forget to wear gloves. They are really sharp, these guys. Okay, this is the end result. As you can see, it looks like um, a pineapple. Now, um, just one thing that I wanted to point out, you'll probably see the spud bar in the background there. So I found that was the only thing I could actually get through the root. It's, the root's really solid, so um, it's just something to bear in mind that if you start this project, you'll need good tools to actually sort it out. Hey, um, just uh, with the root, it's like 150 mils thick, which I suppose in, it's about six inches, so it's quite solid. And what I found was it was full of fluid. And uh, as I mentioned before, I actually had to use the spud bar to break through it. Uh, it's no good trying a saw or anything like that because the fluid will actually stick. And the other thing is that they're incredibly heavy. Uh, the only way I could get it was I had to actually sort of lever it out of the garden and then just roll it out. And there's a couple of shots of it uh, lying on the ground. Um, two tips, I suppose, is one, get a wheelbarrow and just put the leaves straight into that. Um, try to handle them as little as possible and then also put down a tarp into the back of your um, pickup or ute before you put them in so when you take them down the tip all you've got to do is drag that tarp out and you'll just get rid of them because every time you touch one of these guys you can easily get uh, little fawns into your hands and they just go straight through the leather gloves they're really tough little suckers yeah, as you can see, it's still lying there on the ground. I haven't worked out a way to get this into the back of my used or pickup truck. Um, anyway, if you've got any suggestions how I could do it, uh, there's no way you can pick it up. So my idea was maybe try and build some little ramp there and uh, roll it up a ramp. But that's that's the plan. So I might make another video about it once I work out how to do it. But yeah, she's still sitting in the front yard there. So um, wife's saying, got to get rid of it. So we'll see how we go. Cheers.